Okay, so there's a chemist, right? She's in her lab doing, you know, her chemist things, and she gets chemical X, right? Pours it into chemical Y, and all of a sudden, she throws her hands up in there and says, that's improper. How many of you out there know how to drive a car? Probably most of you. Now, how many of you out there know the exact mechanics that a car uses to go forward? Probably a lot less of you. But does your knowledge of how a car works affect your ability to drive it? Not at all. As linguists, our job is to understand how this car goes. Of course, this car is language. It's our vehicle for communication. And just like you can drive a car without knowing how the mechanics of it work, you can speak a language 100% perfectly without knowing grammatical terms like transitivity or adverbial clauses or prepositions. A linguist studies language, but in a very specific way. One school of language study is known as prescriptive language study. A prescriptive study would tell someone how something ought to be said. Usually they would say something along the lines of, oh, this should be said as this, or you shouldn't say that. People who follow this school of thought are called prescriptivists because they prescribe how language should be much like a doctor would prescribe you what medicine you should take. You can find these people, for example, teaching your English class telling you not to end a sentence in preposition, or maybe in a foreign language class telling you how to correctly pronounce a certain sound, or you can also find them on the internet complaining about the usage of the wrong your. But all of this is not linguistics. As linguists, we analyze language and language change. We like to look at linguistic phenomenon and objectively draw conclusions based on them. In essence, we're realists. We tell you what's actually going on in language and not what should be going on in language. Just like chemists, if we see something happening, we don't shout that it's improper, we attempt to understand what's going on. Linguistics is what we call descriptive. A descriptive approach looks at what's going on in the language and describes it without placing any value judgment on it. Linguists like to leave the judgment of proper and improper to the prescriptivists. For example, a linguist may go into department stories of various social classes and record how the sales associates pronounce certain sounds, then analyze the pronunciations and show how social prestige changes how someone pronounces a certain word. This is what Charles Lebov did in 1966. Or you can compare various dead ancient languages such as Latin, Ancient Greek, Ancient Persian, and various others and then, through evidence, show that they all came from a singular language known as Proto-Indo-European. This is what Sir William Jones did in 1786. A linguist could also be called to testify in a court case as an expert witness. This was the case of James Fitzgerald. Using linguistic evidence from the famous Unabomber Manifesto, such as word choice, age-specific slang, and alterations of very common phrases, he was able to accurately pinpoint the identity of the bomber and contribute to finding him guilty. Quite simply, the goal of linguistics is to look at language objectively and draw scientific conclusions based on that. Being that language has a huge amount of different facets, our field is amazingly broad. But the one thing that draws us all together is our affinity for language. If you like this video or have linguistics questions, like or comment below. I'll be releasing linguistic videos weekly. I'm Eric Borja, and that is Highly Linguistics.